Alright guys, in today's video, uh, I'm gonna be removing the receiver which is all the way down here below the ESC so the ESC gotta lift out alright and uh, then we will open the receiver box I am gonna connect it to this uh, Spectrum DX6R transmitter and I'm gonna be using this SR4220 receiver alright it's a uh, 4 channel you really don't need 4 channels on there but um, I don't have a two channel receiver and right now this is all I got and down the road I will switch it to a two channel but right now I'm gonna put this in because I'm having trouble with the with the AVC on this car it's just a mess for me all right and I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna take this and put it away this is the stock controller here which uh, I'm not even happy with all right so we're gonna be removing the bolt here to get the switch off and then you got bolt down there and bolt down there all around the ESC there's four bolts and this whole ESC system will lift up and then we'll open up the receiver box and we'll disconnect remove the receiver put that receiver in should be a very simple job guys so let me set up my camera and we'll just start off all right so give me a moment Hey guys i'm ready to go it's really windy outside and cold all right so i have this uh, two millimeter here all right first i'm gonna remove this screw of the switch there we have it take this little guy put it somewhere safe we got switch out of the way now we got two screws here and two on the opposite side so let me go on the other side first it's, it's this screw exactly on the opposite side. There it is. That's one. And there has to be one more over here. I can't even see, so I'm going to just aim it blindly. I think I'm going to have to look back there. There you go. And the screw is out might drop it but let me try not to there's a second screw here comes another one all right this should lose loosen up the ESC drop the screw I'll get that out of there there's the screw and the ESC might be like a double taped so we're gonna have to get it off there somehow some way let me go get a flat head and I'll just lift it yank it a little bit let me just see there's no screws so there's no other screws all right All right, instead of flathead, I got this uh, tool that I usually remove clips of cars. And it's a really good tool to lift things up. Something's gotta be holding this little guy down. All right, let's me lift this whole crane up. Did I miss a screw? No, I did not miss a screw. Worst come to worst, I'm gonna remove the whole. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna remove the whole tray here. This whole thing. Well, I can't remove this one. This is separate and this is separate. This guy has to come out. It has to lift up the ESC. Something is holding this guy down. I'm gonna figure that out. There's supposed to be nothing really holding this down. All right guys, um, so there's a double-sided tape in there. So put your screwdriver in there, lift it up. You're gonna have to work some magic here. All right, 
get once you get it down there it should you should be able to break that tape loose all right all right just take your time slowly use two different set of tools one can lift the other one can just hold it for you all right i can hear the tape breaking loose already just don't damage the esc all right guys There it is, I can hear it. That's some serious taping. Eh, I'm gonna have to get some of that. Move my camera to this side. All right guys, and be careful with the wiring because there's wires here guys. I'm not going to be disconnecting uh, any of these leads here because I don't need to. All right. Next, we're going to remove the tray box, which has, like I was saying, you could remove this whole tray box probably and this whole thing should come out with it. It's up to you. And let me see if my tool, the same si si size fits on it. Yup, there's a whole bunch of screws on the top of that tray. That one. Got that. There's one over here. I'm not gonna reach that one. And there should be two more. This one. Drop the screw, I'll pick it up with the magnet. All right, if you want guys, you can just take off these screws and this thing, you don't have to remove the ESC like I did. All right, and there we have it. And we got our receiver in there. Let me show you guys what we have in there. Let me take my camera. And there it is, the receiver box. All right, that's a receiver box right there. Doesn't have a number on it. I wish it had a number on it. So I can really figure out. All right, um, yeah, so it doesn't have a number on it. What can we do? I wish it had a number on it. So I can at least try to program this one to my controller there. But I'm going to take this out, put my receiver in, and that should be it. All right, so it should probably has a more tape to it, to this receiver. All right, we got... We got this one going to the ESC. All right, so that's the throttle. And this is the steering. Let's put all this to the side. Need to pull out that control or receiver. I hate that double-sided tape stuff. Especially this thing was not joke. There you go. All right, let's pull off the antenna cable. Should be able to remove this little guy. There you go, guys. I'll worry about putting the antenna in later, but here's the receiver I have. Oh yeah, the tape is still sticky. All right, I'm gonna put this in. put this in facing like that all right let me get my antenna cable right through there there it 
There you go. All right, that's what makes it waterproof. That little guy right there. All right. So again, remove the tray, this tray with the ESC. It should lift up. You don't have to break the tape loose. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it. All right, so. All right, so we're gonna plug in the receiver. We're gonna plug everything in, then I'm gonna test it. All right, so this is, this is the throttle. All right, so the throttle goes right there. Well, let me plug in the other one first, the steering, because it's gonna give me a hard time to maneuver the other one around. All right. Come on, little guy. All right, guys, I'm working with one hand. Let me get all this in, and then I'll continue, all right? All right, guys, got my batteries hooked up. Got my controller here, it's fired up, all right? And... There you go, all right, guys? And I think my voltage is low on this thing. It's flashing right there. Yeah, the voltage is really low. All right, so let me get this batteries charged up and we'll check this out later. All right, guys, um, I want to put everything back together because I know it's working and I saw it turn. I tested it before I continue the video. Uh, that's called a pre-test, it's all right. But anyways, it works. I'm going to put everything back together because I'm not about to charge up these batteries because the truck is going to sit for a few days and I don't like to charge batteries and they just stay there, all right? So it does work and once I have it, We'll continue the video all right so just make sure you get your leads correct all right the throttle and the steering all right all right guys so let me put this back together all right guys so everything is good to go let's uh clean up this wiring and get the receivers to sit down the receiver does need to sit down nice and clean because uh it has avc even this one has avc but I am able to control it differently now. All right, and the lead for the ESC has to come out. I do need to fish one of the bolts that I dropped back there. I'll do that later on. There's no problem, but let me manage everything in there. Make sure you get your wiring good and the waterproof mechanism, the, the sleeves are not going to cause any trouble when you wash the truck or go through water. Alright, there I have it. I have everything the way I want. And let me see if I can put this tray on. This ESC, grab the tape again. have it guys nice and good all right now I need to put all these back together there's gonna be a seal around it make sure that seal is perfectly good there's a seal on this housing on the tray of the ESC. All right guys, I'm gonna put all the bolts back together because you don't really need to see me doing all this. And pretty much the video is done here. So that's how you're gonna remove this ESC. So do not remove that double-sided tape because uh, you don't need to. The whole tray just lifts up. I guess that's how they designed it and that's how it has to be. The tape is really strong, right? All right, guys. So thank you for watching my video, and don't forget to subscribe if you guys need any help with anything else. And enjoy watching my videos, guys. Bye bye. All right, guys. I'm all done. 
Got everything back together. Bada bing, bada boom, all right? I'm gonna charge all my batteries down the road and we'll just test it.